Let's make some alu pudina sagu. It can be served with methi roti, ragi roti, full kas, and even puris. This yummy sagu is very famous in Bangalore and Mysore hotels. So let's learn how to make it. We need some peeled and chopped potatoes, some onion. For the masala, we need a handful of coriander and a half fist of pudina, some coconut and green chili, ginger and garlic. Garlic can be optional, you can also avoid it. So we have to make a wet masala paste using all these ingredients. Dry masalas like bay leaf and uh, some uh, new signs of cinnamon, some peppercorns, and some cloves, and a piece of uh, a piece or two of cardamom. Cardamom gives a very nice flavor, so don't miss it. So peppercorns, I'm grilling with the wet masala so that uh, we get a nice crushed flavor along with that. It's a green chutney style of gravy, but here we are using coconut in it. So let's take a mixy jar and uh, grind our wet masala paste. I'm using my chutney jar to grind my paste of green masala. I think it's ready. Let's check. Yes. Just take that out and scrape the sides. If the sides are undone, just run it one more time so that you get a flavor coarse uh, paste. You don't get fine paste. We are not adding water here. We have washed pudina and uh, our mint and coriander leaves before, so the moisture in it is enough to make this coarse paste. Pokum uh, is not available with you, you can also use a leaf of uh, tamarind, dried tam tamarind which you usually have in your kitchen. So you can use that so that we get a tangy nice flavor in this paste. Yes, it's ready. I have ordered, also added a pinch of salt. Yes. Look at the coarse paste. So we need exactly this consistency. Now we'll start our process of making this super yummy and delicious green pudina potato gravy or sagu. In Mysore Bangalore side we call it a sagu. It can be made without this green curry paste. The ingredients here were primarily the flavors were dominated with mint and coriander. Instead of that some uh, places here they use more of coconut and including poppy seeds so that also I'll be showing in my coming videos so let's make this green purina potato sagu which is my family's favorite so I have heated some oil in my kadai and now I'm putting some mustard seeds and once this flutter then only we are putting our cumin around one tablespoon of cumin we 
love cumin flavor in our family so i always make sure it is more in my tadkas get the right consistency of consistency of cumin i am adding bay leaf cinnamon cloves and cardamom into my tadka and now let's mix it now we are adding curry leaves and this tadka will the rawness will be gone we don't want to burn any of the masala here that is the signs of cooking which changes the flavor so it could get high flame or high or highly heated oil so make sure when to put what if you learn that anything you cook will come out really really well now i have added after curry leaves we have added uh, turmeric and we don't want to burn turmeric or lose its properties so i'm immediately adding sliced onion saute it for a while again we don't want to burn it just it should be cooked well the raw smell and flavor of the onion should be gone just in case i am uh, sometimes while chopping the onion uh, it will be binded into uh, like lumps so just break them so that we get the thin slices of onion in our tadka just with the help of ladle and oil only you can do it boiled potato here the flavor as i told you cooking is science the flavor is going to change i like the white potato sago which i told you which is predominantly the same spices used but instead of the green leaves there we are using more of coconut and poppy seed mixture so here if you use that the flavor changes so i prefer to use only peeled and uh, sliced potato chopped potato like this now we have added that and uh, we want to be uh, cook or uh, in the oil itself so i will just mix all the ingredients and uh, cover the lid and let it cook on a in between sim to medium flame for a while so my potato becomes soft before putting the green chutney here goes the salt Just give it a nice stir so that the salt is not just sitting on the top, but it coats all the potato pieces here. Little water. This will help or speed up the cooking process. We don't want a very slurry gravy here. It should be semi gravy, I can say. The potato should be coated with our uh, green uh, gravy. So I'm adding little water here. You may see that water is around one glass of water I have added, or two to three, near uh, nearly 200 ml. But uh, this will be absorbed inside the potatoes when I cook, cook it well with a lid closed on that. Here I am taking little rice flour to make the slurry. And, uh, so that the sago comes with a smooth consistency. So I will be adding some water in the jar in which, like after adding the gravy, I will just slow, slowly show you the process. See the water I have added in my rice flour. If you don't have rice flour, you can also use corn flour. But rice flour is always more healthy. So just mix it well in cold water so that there are no lumps left. This side is it ready so that at the right time I'll be using it. Look at this, our potatoes have cooked well. You can just check it with a spoon, cooking spoon itself. Now I'm adding 
the green coarse uh, chutney gravy which we have made using pudina and coriander mint and coriander and i will give you an it a nice mix so that it coats all my potato pieces here the fragrance i i wish i could share you the fragrance it's super 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 it's very nice i can say please i trust me you make it and please let me know in the comment section how did you like it it's really flavorful a burst of flavor and uh, really good to go especially the morning uh, breakfast if you are making any kind of plain parathas or uh, puri or even ragi dosa or plain dosa just sometimes you may not wish to have with your chutney have with your sagu it's really filling and super delicious now see you may add little water if you feel the water has reduced here but mine is the correct proportion so now i'm adding the rice paste or the rice curry which i have made and kept so that it binds the whole gravy you can use the rice paste as i have already told you can also replace it with the one and half tablespoon of corn flour mixed with water the same curry can be added to this Water in the mixer jar in which we have blended the green uh, coriander and uh, mint paste, so that all the leftover coarse paste will also stick to the water and come together. And this remaining water will help me in the cooking process of the gravy. So here it is. I'm just closing the lid for a while and cooking it. Simmer the flame. We don't want any burnt gravy here, so just cook it for five to six minutes, and it should be done. So here we go. Look at this. Just give it a mix. It's super fragrant, super delicious. I bet you will like it. Please subscribe and encourage us to make more such creative, healthy recipes and more creative videos. As I write in my caption, as life is about being creative, I try to get every kind of creativity we can explore in life to my viewers. So please subscribe, share, and like all videos. Thank you so much.